you seem like you're in fantastic shape. Do you work out all the time? Do you constantly train? What kind of, what, what's your regimen? Well, I, I, you know, I, I never really had to work out, you know. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I was kind of blessed. And mm -hmm. then, you know, when you pass a certain age, you're like, what the heck is going on with my body? And so I have to... That was going on with me my whole life. I've always, <laughs> oh. I've always had, what's happening with my body? Oh, no. What is this thing? Uh, but, uh, but anyway, so, so now, you, what are you doing? How are you, how are you working? Um, now I have to do, you know, like, like everyone else, I have to do the cardio. Mm -hmm. And I, I was on the treadmill. I can't do the treadmill anymore. I fell off. And, and, um, <laughs> and, uh, you fell off the treadmill. I fell off the treadmill. I was all into the music. I was listening to Beyonce, and I love her, and I think she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know, like how sometimes you just get lost and you start fantasizing your her and everything like that. Right. And um, <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> I know exactly yeah, and, what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, and I'm like just, you know, like, you know, guy, we look so crazy bad now, and bang, boom, fly. So you miss, and then you, and the problem, the most embarrassing thing about, and there's a lot of uh, exercise machines where you can fall or something can happen, but on a treadmill, I think the most humiliating thing is that if you stumble and fall for any reason, it shoots you out the back. Yes, it does. Yes, so it like does. you fall, you look stupid, and then it it ejects you. Yes. And yes. I, that's happened to me a couple of times. So I've been on, I've been like, I said so crazy, so crazy. <laughs> and then you fall, not that song specifically, and then I'm fired. <laughs> I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> right. Wang. It's embarrassing. Is it well, yeah, what was more embarrassing that it's, it was in my gym at home. Right. So I flew against the wall, and the only person that was there was my dog, and he just went. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's like, oh, not yeah. good. Crying for help was, you know. Crazy. What I don't like at the gym is that uh, there was this guy who told me, and it's not big weights, you want to use smaller weights and do lots of repetitions. So I'll sit there, and, he, and it's this embarrassingly small weight, and people have seen me. It's a weight that's like this big, and he says, like, you got to do like 90 of those, and then they're going, Arr! And people come in, and I'm there. I'm on like number eighty. That doesn't look like you. Yeah, but just weight. I'm holding something that looks like a paperweight, and I'm going die. <laughs> and I just look like I'm I'm like a scarecrow that I have no. I almost passed out during that, by the way. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> Let's talk about the documentary. Okay. Yo soy Boricua. Right. Pa que tú lo sepas. Uh, and you know, I watched it today, and I was telling you in the break that it's very well done. It's also. I think a lot of people assume they know about Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican heritage. And then I was watching the movie and I realized I don't know anything. It's extremely informative too. Yeah, and uh, thank you. And and I'm and I've learned a lot during my journey, and I'm still learning. And um, you know, and I've made some mistakes along the way, but my heart was in it 100%. Mm -hmm. And even on the uh, the uh, Yo Soy Borinqua IFC blog page, mm -hmm. people are sharing more information. They're offering more uh, more more hi historical facts to me. And mm -hmm. and I wanted it. You know, they oh you left out this and you left out that. And I said if I put everything in there, we would have had a mini series like Roots. Right. You know, and hopefully one. Day that will happen, mm -hmm. you know, so that, you know, I, be, but I had under 90 minutes. I could only put just so much information in there. Right. But just like you, I was, I, I felt like a student as well. And, um, it, and you it, have a lot of, you're, you're talking to, you have cousins, you have, you have a lot of your family that you're talking to, but then you, you actually, you know, you go to the island and you, you, you present a lot of history as well. And yes, yes. And, and, and yeah, my family's in it. My cousin is very, very funny in it mm -hmm. as well. And the, and the biggest thing that I learned from this documentary is is the issue of statehood versus independent or as is mm -hmm. and what I learned from that is that I don't think that I really have a right to to fight for either way because I don't live there right. although I am Puerto Rican and I'm 100% Puerto I'm not an islander mm -hmm. and it would be like if I asked um, New Jersey people to to pick my mayor for, of choice for their state it just right. wouldn't make any sense right. you know and and that was a that was a, a that was very humbling. Well, you know, the other thing is it's such a raw issue. I mean, people, it seems like you probably touched a nerve just, just talking about it in the documentary, and you don't take a position one way or the other. I don't, I but don't. there are probably a lot of people that have, that, that have seen the documentary 
who, you know, get upset or it, it touches that nerve in some way. Yeah, yeah. A majority of the response is overwhelmingly positive and mm -hmm. people are really moved about, about it. And there's a few of the response that people get very angry. You left out this and I don't agree with your position on that. And I, I didn't take a position. Right. You know, and, and but all in all, like I was talking to my sister Carmen about it, I said, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to bring the issue to the table. I wanted to open up the discussion so that we can, we can you know, investigate it even further and that we can give the people on the island and the people here in mm -hmm. America the respect that is due to us. Mm -hmm. So they don't just see us as one thing. Like, let's open the debate. Let's discuss it with me, you know, but don't get mad at me because I'm the wrong person you get mad at. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, let's figure out how we can make this work because Puerto Rico is, is a United States territory. And it's a shame that the government of Puerto Rico ran out of money just about a, a month ago. You know, and, 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 and if we are Americans, that we should be taken care of much better. We should be respected much better. Well, it's clear when you see in the documentary, it's, it becomes apparent how much America has gotten from Puerto Rico and from Puerto Rican people. And then you think, well, we can't just, you know, you said 50% of the people living there uh, live in poverty. And you yes, think, well, wait, right. so they're sort of part of us and we've gotten so much from them, industry and... Uh, really made a lot of money off of Puerto Rico, exactly. and you got to do the right thing. Yeah. So it's a, people should watch it. It's very interesting. Uh, Yo soy Boricua, pa que tu lo sepas, will re air on Tuesday, June 27th at 7 30 on IFC. Rosie, thanks a lot for being here. Thank Always you. great having you on Thank the show. You. Thanks for being Rosie Perez, Morgan Presso, coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around.